So I always have this presumption that I must have been an extrovert. But the other day, I came across these bullet points about how to define an introvert and an extrovert, and I realized I was wrong all these years. And as I dive into the bullet points, I found a several crossovers that, in between introverts and extroverts, I found very interesting. And the following are the bullet points of an introverts, which I. Aligned to most of them, and introverts prefer spending time in solitude. That's check for me. Avoiding being the center of attention. That's a check for me. Think before they speak. That is an uncheck for me because I'm always very straightforward. Sometimes just like a rocket or a shooting arrows that cannot be stopped. So. That's one of the reason why I always assume that I'm an extrovert. The next one is value close. One person equal one person relationships. This is describing introverts tend to have a relationship when the people come out one percent, then you come out one percent. They don't tend to give like a ten percent before the other person give them. Ten percent, so that they they want an equal relationship. I think that's what what that's supposed to be. Yeah, this one is a check for me as well. I like to see other person's action before actually decided with my actual efforts, endeavors, and action. Yeah, this one resonated with me as well. This one is a check for me. I want a balanced, fair relationship, in any kind of a relationship. And the next point is need time alone to recharge and reflect for introverts. This one is also a big check for me. Like I always, always need time to rest and reflect, especially. After I enter the workforce into a society, the the one thing that I wanted to do the most when I finish a hard day of work, I definitely the first thing on my mind is to get home and get some rest and relax. Sometimes not even wanted to reflect, but you just wanted to let everything go. You know, you don't want. To deal with anything else, you don't want to deal with your good friends. You don't want to deal with phone calls. You don't want to have to reply to messages. You don't want to say no to any hangouts. That I I definitely related to a lot. And the next bullet point is prefer working in quiet, independent environments. This one is also a big check for me. And I think I build myself that environment after my thirties, because I'm just tired of being working in a group of people in the office or in any store as a salesperson. So I made a decision that I'm going to change that situation, and I did, and that makes me much happier. Okay, and the next bullet point is deeply focus and think about specific interests. Yes, this bullet point about the introverts also is a check for me. I have always been curious and wondering about the meaning of life since I was very little, and、uh, most of the time, I feel very lost when I was in my twenties. That I don't find a purpose or a meaning of my life's journey, and it makes me feel very unhappy. In those days, even when I was surrounded by very good friends, we were having a good time, and I could be feeling very, very alone. Um, in my group of friends, having fun, I still have this deep. 
yearning, wanted to understand what am I here, and that feeling especially getting very intensified when I was alone. And sometimes when you were young, it could be very hard for you to find the drive to keep going when you don't know why you keep going for, which is a pretty hot topics for many younger generation today, I think. When they see people on the internet getting success so easily be just because they have a good appearance and they know how to entertain. It might be harder for them to find the purpose and meaning of their own life. Um, yeah, so I think deep focus and thinking about specific interests that's also a very important bullet points on the introverts table as well. And the last one is can be seen as reserved. This one is definitely a check for me. That also resonates with one of the bullet points that was mentioned earlier when it was talk about value close. One equals one percent of a relationship can be seen as a reserve for introverts. I think it's because we tend to have a reservation about what other people's attentions are before we even decided that we wanted to nurture this relationship. I think it would be fair to say that for introverts, for myself personally, I can very much being alone on my own, so therefore any other relationship, if I don't see benefits, by benefits I mean, if I don't feel like there's something new that the next person, this new friend, could be possibly bring into my experience, then I just don't have the drive to schedule my free time to actually want to get to know them more. So I think this bullet points about an introvert that seems to be more reserved than other people, I think is because my personal experience is that what I want from a friendship, from a relationship is that I want to be nurtured. I want to be nurtured I want to learn new things. I want to feel understand and I want to understand them. I want a mutual connection, understanding, but not just another relationship that I can just spend time with feeling relaxed. Feeling relaxed, that alone I can do just by myself. I feel completely relaxed when I'm alone in my PJ after shower. If I fit myself, I feel completely relaxed, free, and these. I don't need any help with those activities. So I think, yes, being an introvert that also can be seen as reserve. That bullet points is very on point. So right now, let's look into a few bullet points of the extroverts. The bullet points one is that I have a large social networks. Nope. Nope. This is an uncheck for me. I hate being in a large group of people since I was very little. I found that very annoying. Sometimes in high school, when there's a hangout, when there's more than two people, and I just say, I don't like it. Two people is the right amount for me. Three people hangouts, I'm not going. Um, that's just the instincts. I don't know why, but that's how I feel. So this one is on check for me for the extroverts. Enjoying being in the center of attention. That is a nope for me. Don't like it. That just gives you this nerves wracking feeling when a lot of people is looking at you, right? I don't like that feeling. And the next bullet points of the extrovert is tend to think out loud. This one could be a check and uncheck for me. I don't think now as I grow older and wiser, I don't do this so often anymore. 
But yeah, a lot of times I I could still be very straightforward about what I think politically. Uh, how I think about a person, how I think about a situation, rationally, not emotionally. My criticism, for me personally, that's how I express them. So yeah, I could sometimes be thinking out loud still as well. And the next bullet points of being an extrovert, love being in large groups. Nope, that's the same as the first first bullet points like to be in the large social networks. No, not for me. This is a no for me. I don't like a large group of people, but I can deal with a large group of people. As now I'm mature, I know how to interact and respect a person. So for me, being in a large group is not a problem anymore. But I still, I wouldn't be enjoying that. And the next bullet points would be. Gain energy from being around other people. Not necessarily. This one is not. I don't. I don't feel certain about this one. Check or uncheck. Sometimes, as an introvert, introvert, when you have reserved enough of energy on your own, sometimes you need to communicate with other people in order for you to. Communicating new ideas that you have discovered about life, about work, about relationship, sharing and having conversation over the new discoveries from you is very important. I think as I grow older, I found that to be essential for you to actually get the real knowledge about what it is the reality of human existence. Beyond just the concept in your head, so a lot of time I think you actually need to have more interaction with other people. Talk about the ideas that have formed in your own mind to verify that is it is a common, you know, a knowledgeable, recognizable human experience. That's how you can make sure that you're not making the mistakes here. Or just you know too self opinionated, so I think that's very important to gain energy from being around other people. Not exactly energy, but to have more connection and conversation about the things that you learn from life, to verify them, to you know level up with what your own conception could be. And the next bullet points would be thrive and turn oriented. And open work settings. So this one's supposed to be that extroverts like to thrive in a specific goals and open work settings.、Mm, so I don't really mind a lot of times just floating around an idea or a new business plan, just to wonder, you know. Spending time feeling curious and research and wonder, a lot of times the things that you're curious about not necessarily have to be at the new directions of your life. So, but you can also get a new experience. So I think I'm not necessarily have to have a goal in mind to actually feel curious about something new. I like to learn new things. I like to experience new things. So this one is on check for me. And the next extroverts bullet points would be make a quick decision. This one is also in balance as well. It depends on the specifics and the situation, but most of the times I really, really know what I like and what I don't like. A lot of times I can make a decision very quickly. And but when it comes down to the bigger decisions in life, sometimes it could take me a while because I think regardless you are introverts or extroverts, you wanna try your best to make the right decision for your life. So I think whether you are introverts or extroverts, there might be varies on how quick that you can make a decision. So I think this one is uncertain. As well, and the last bullet points of the extrovert is outgoing, enthusiastic, and positive 
this one is definitely a check. I have always been, I don't think necessary outgoing, but I speak by my, I get along with the people, enthusiastic and positive. This one is definitely a check for me. So I find myself feel very balanced in between introverts and extroverts. Although there are more bullet points that I have checked with the introverts bullet points, but I think overall, I'm pretty much a hybrid in between introverts and extroverts. So I think from now on, I'm not going to define myself as an introvert or extrovert, but the only things that I realize is that I am not, I cannot be defined as an introvert or extrovert. It's because it's just data. Like um, star sign. This could be a consideration for you to get to know people better, but not necessarily be a 100% provable, you know, blueprint for you to actually get to learn about one person. I think these uh, labels of being a introvert or extrovert could be a good data point for you to get to know, you know, some new people, new friends, your colleagues who you just come to get to know. Could be helpful, but I think the most provable bullet points in the society should be the actual time that you spend with the person and get to know them through time get through trials, ups and downs with them. That's the only ways you can actually get to understand someone. Uh, so I think, yeah, whether being an introvert or a extrovert, I don't mind. That's fine with me. But it's just uh, very interesting for me to understand that I always thought I was extrovert. And now that I realize reading all the bullet points that I am more on the table, bullet points table of the introverts that really fascinates me. So the next time, if any friends ask me, was I, am I introvert or extrovert? I might say, you know, sort of in between or maybe more lean to introvert. So yeah, this is uh, something very interesting and nice to know. And I just learned something new today. And I think no matter whether you're an introvert or extrovert, the best way for you to understand people and let other people to understand you is to be fiercely who you are as someone who is honest, enthusiastic, and positive around anybody you're around. That, from my personal experience, would be the best way to meet and keep the people you want to be relationship in your life with to be a successful and nurture journey. So whether you are introvert or extrovert, be who you are. Be kind, be funny, be happy, be free. That will always be the best way to live a happy, positive life that make impacts on other people's everyday life.